Jenny from the block owned in New York City, but what you saw on the VMAs was just the start. Wait until you see what JLo did after the show. So she was on fire. Meanwhile, um, Madonna spontaneously combusted. I mean, Twitter erupted over her ill-fated tribute to Aretha Franklin, but now today, Madonna's defending herself. Aretha Louise Franklin changed the course of my life. Madonna was ripped apart on social media after what everyone thought was an Aretha tribute turned into a six minute monologue. What we got was a long, long story about Madonna, which incidentally mentioned Aretha Franklin in passing for a second or two. And I want to thank you, Aretha, for empowering all of us. Check out the gifts, a thumbs down, this no, 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 and another called, what would Aretha think? Madonna fired back today. She says MTV asked her to share about any Aretha connection she had before presenting video of the year, adding, quote, I did not intend to do a tribute to her. That would be impossible in two minutes with all the noise and tinsel of an award show. But here's the thing. This isn't the first time Madonna's been accused of ruining a tribute. Michael Jackson was born in August 1958. So is I. Michael Jackson grew up in the suburbs of the Midwest. So did I. After Michael Jackson's death, Madonna also made this 2009 VMA tribute all about her. Michael Jackson had eight brothers and sisters. So do I. And the material girl was slammed for her 2016 tribute to Prince at the Billboard Music Awards. Rolling Stone contributing editor Joe Levy says last night was a missed opportunity. She really didn't tell us that much about Aretha Franklin's artistry, about her music, about her feminism.